Hi guys and welcome to my travel packing guide, yay! Uh, specifically for vacations, holidays and any duration of travel that's between one to two weeks and the weather is going to be specifically hot or tropical and hot. <laughs> So basically in the next two days I'm going to be heading down to Thailand with Kintiki Holidays and I will be doing a week long trip uh, around Thailand and the Thai Islands and then right after I will be heading to Australia. I will leave all the information down below so you can check out more information about those trips. But um, yeah, anyways, let's get to packing and packing guides. Now I will warn you this will be kind of a lengthy video um, just because I want to give you guys as much information as possible to better help you guys in your packing um, situations and um, packing for your various trips that you take. Let's get started. So if you look behind me, you will see I have everything that I will be taking with me on my trip all nicely laid out for you guys. Um, I will be taking three bags along with me. First off, I have my camera bag. Now this is a bag that I've used for a very, very long period of time. <laughs> As you can tell, it's kind of getting a little bit worn out. But it's a Joe's Totes, it's a DSLR purse. And so basically, this camera that you see right here is going to go in this bag. This is my backpack I'm going to be taking with me. It is a lot larger than the backpacks that I usually take. I usually have like a really nice small Osprey one. But because my laptop is, um, well I'm not taking my 11 inch Mac Air, I'm taking my 15 inch. I needed a bigger bag to put the laptop in so I can be editing on the road and giving you guys all the amazing videos. I've got this bag, so this is my, uh, this is my luggage case that I'm taking. It is a, it's my suit suit. I know I've mentioned this before, but I absolutely love it. Um, a hard luggage container and it is a 70 liter um, so normally on like a one to three month long trip I will take a hundred liter bag because um, well one to three months is a longer period of time and I like to have more room because um, generally I'll be doing more climates in that period of time and I will be buying more souvenirs so I like to have a little bit of space my items along with this camera that you're I'm currently holding um, our stuff that's gonna be in my little where is it my little blue purse so these are it's gonna be going in this purse right here so first off we have a pencil to write stuff my mints because no one likes bad breath we've got my little mini first aid kit which only has a few things it's basically just got like my dairy pills because I'm not sure intolerant um some tiny little Advil's band-aids just some small things perfumes because I don't like to smell um, a little bit of sunscreen emergency sunscreen that's always good and some powder because my face gets really oily and then this and my my water bottle my Katiki water bottle so I'll be taking those with me a big pile of electronics and stuff so starting from here all of this to here is going to go in my ping bag so that's my backpack and that's what it's, I'm gonna be carrying with me on my back basically all my very expensive stuff is going to go in there charge so this is all my GoPro stuff I have a GoPro amount GoPro backings a head mount got a tripod mount in there now I've got my uh, ch chargers for my two point clicks so this is my Lumix camera that I use I've I talked about these before waterproof and my Canon point and shoot uh, power shot that's my like evening camera and then my GoPro that's the hero 3 silver plus all their cards and stuff um, this is like a waterproof case USB these are this is a lens cleaner and cloth this is a travel like lens cleaner for my big DSLR this one right here cases these are so now these are very very important these are my universal travel adapters so basically you could do let me show you these we've got ah that's North American you could do this one is I believe where is that UK oh yeah that's the UK it can do Europe, it can do South America. Ah, where is this? Okay, there we go. Uh, what's that one, Europe? Oh yeah, Australia, and then, okay, let me show you. Australia, New Zealand, you just 
twist it like that. Oh, bam, Australia, New Zealand. So very, very handy universal travel adapter. A pack of, um, what you call it? SD cards. So these are all my SD cards that I'm taking with me, um, aside from the one that's currently in this camera here, which is also a 32. And these will be going in these two cameras there. Plus I already have a card that's a 32 as well in my GoPro. Now I'm only bringing one pair of sunglasses because um, it's Southeast Asia and I've been there before and there are so many different types of cheap sunglasses so I'm most likely gonna buy a pair because I always like to have two pairs of sunglasses with me when I travel. Uh, this is my, um, what do I call it? Lock, this is a lock, let me show you. So it's a wire. <laughs> Come on, if I, if I, this is gonna be an absolute disaster if I pull this out, it will, it'll be bad. But it's a lock that I can string through my like big suitcase and secure it so I can leave it places unattended and be sure that people aren't gonna steal my stuff. Terabyte, uh, it's a Seagate external hard drive. So all of my footage will go on there. These are some cords more chargers, more cords, mouse for editing, my hair straightener. Um, yes, I do bring a full length hair straightener because <laughs> I'm a very vain person and little small ones don't work. And it's, I don't know, for me, it's a pretty important thing to bring, so I bring it. Phone, the, well, yeah. This is my little notebook. I like to have a little notebook with me because Helps me like write down thoughts and stuff. So we've got my passport, pens, it's got all my flight details and my itinerary. And it's got um, spare copies of my passports. That's down here and Air Canada things because, yep, I just like to carry stuff. But anyways, all my important documents are in my uh, folder here. Yeah. All of my, um, cards and stuff go into this little tiny little pouch and stay with all my money and that will go in my blue bag as well so that should actually be over here hot weather i have my hoodie and i've got like a little like jumper cardigan sort of deal nothing too much it's gonna be hot don't really need anything um that big or heavy just something because um so much in southeast asia but in australia it can get really chilly at nighttime and the temperature can drop quite rapidly. So it's always good to kind of have a nice sweater. And I love traveling in nice hoodies. So that's gonna be part of my everyday wear. Oh yes, I forgot to mention that. So stuff that I'm wearing, like traveling to the airport and stuff, are all in this pile. This is everything I bring with me. Okay, so these are all my sleeve t-shirts that I'm bringing. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it is quite a lot, but these are also sleeping shirts and working out shirts, and they're really small, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and these are kind of like my two going out blouses, plus this is kind of like a vanity item. I've got a lot of shirts, <laughs> just because uh, Southeast Asia is really hot, and you're gonna be, well, I'm gonna be really, really sweaty, and so I will most likely go through two shirts a day, just changing them out because I'll get really, really hot in them. So these are my four shoes that I'm bringing. So I got flip flops, which I will pretty much live in for the next month. My running shoes for my optimistic workouts, <laughs> and um, for hiking, sort of any kind of like excursion. We've got a nice pair of wedges. I love these wedges. They're my absolute favorite, Steve Madden's. Uh, just a comfortable, versatile, high heel shoe that I can dress up if we're going out. And then these kind of like riffraff <laughs> band shoes that I'll wear if I want to wear something that's not flip flops, not running shoes, and not heels. So there you go. I've got um, one belt. I've got my crazy, crazy first aid kit. There is a lot in here. So we've got a whole lot of bandages. Um, I've got big bandages, waterproof bandages, gauzes, um, turgoderm. Tur tur it's a weird name, but these are actually like super crazy stick on bandages. Learned about all the different types of <laughs> big bandages when I burnt my leg when I was in Vietnam and I didn't have all these things with me. So since then, I make sure that my first aid kit is quite extensively packed. I've got lots and lots of pills. 
<laughs> lots of drugs. Um, these are lots of cold meds. Um, probiotics, which are always good because I, I find that that helps at me not like digest things. Advil's. I got some electrolyte tablets. This is some rubbing alcohol to clean things. And yeah, I have a microfiber towel. So this is like a quick drying towel. This is my little bag of accessories. This is my makeup bag that I have, which has two compartments, very, very important ladies. Brushes that I take with me. This is my brush component. All of my makeup that I take with me. My one blush bronzer, um, my eyeshadow palette foundation, lots of different waterproof and non-waterproof mascaras, eyebrow stuff, and a little bit of lipstick, a little bit of cover-up, basically just your basics, nothing too fancy. It opens up like this. Let me show this. So this is my toiletry bag. Um, and you can like hang it here, it has a hook up here, so you can hang it on things. And basically what I try to do is shrink down everything <laughs> to the little size as possible. So we got like a little deodorant there, a little toothbrush, some eye drops. Um, those are some more dairy pills and Q-tips. In here I've got um, little sh conditioners, little shampoo, even though hotels generally have those. I've got a little mini face sunscreen. I've got, this is one thing that I do kind of have a big one of, and that's my bigger sunscreen because I'm gonna be using that a lot. Same thing with my face wash. So because I wash my face like two times a day, yeah. Um, I like to carry a little face towel with me always, even though if I'll be staying at hotels, they'll generally provide one, but it's good to have um, brush, makeup remover, body wash, hair products, hair products, hair products. I kind of have a lot of hair products. <laughs> Lots of acne stuff because my face breaks out a lot when I'm in hot weather. So, perfumes because, again, I don't like to be stinky when I travel. And then toothpaste. Um, I, I, if I have a full container, I'll take it if there's only a little bit left because that means I'll just run through it and then I can throw it away. We've got uh, one, two, three, four pairs of shorts. Sleeping shorts, those are these kind of green ones. I've got this, I don't know, this is like a fashion jean vest that I really enjoy, bringing that. Uh, one pair of jean long pants, that's the only long pants, aside from one pair of really funky leggings that I'm bringing. Then I've got my workout shorts, again, being optimistic. <laughs> and I've got like a little black skirt that I can kind of dress up and dress down with those two tops right for nights out. These pants, which are crazy temple pants, which you guys will see more of in my video. Try to roll those back up. You have to have those when you are in the temples in Thailand because they, you have to be covered up, no shorts. Bikini, bathing suit. Um, I only have one right now, but two bottoms, but I'm going to, only because that's only I have, even though I generally like to bring two but I will most likely purchase one when I'm in Thailand. And then my scarf, trusty scarf, yay! Plus, uh, that's my laptop I'll be bringing. And this is all my undergarments and socks and underwear, which you don't need to see. And then these are these amazing stuff sacks. Amazing stuff sacks, which I will show you how all of this, all of this, will go into those. It is style packing time, yay! I'm gonna show you how all of this wah, fits into my bags.
lots and lots of extra room here that we can place all the different souvenirs that I'm going to buy. And I can close that up. And, and voila, there we go. So I have my backpack that's got all my electronics and valuables in. I've got my big bag here with lots of extra room so I can put all my souvenirs in. The exact order that I showed you to put in this big bag can vary. It's not a big deal. Um, I just kind of suit it. However, if your stuff fits in your bag, how we make it work. These are the clothing that I'm going to be wearing to the airport. I left it out. Um, I, will, <laughs> I will have to go back in here and get a shirt and some underwear and socks because I kind of forgot that. but that will have happened and then we have my uh, camera bag that will have you mr camera and mr microphone in it and one last thing that i almost forgot is my rain jacket um that would not have been good but yeah um and the rain jacket will go into my uh, day bag because you never know when it's gonna rain so i like to keep it in there and easily accessible thanks so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something and it will help you in your travel packing endeavors all right